mandarin. Oh, yeah. Woo. We are in such nice, sunny, sunny, warm weather. So I have my window and the door open. So I'm trying not to speak too loud because I don't want people to hear me. Um. Yeah. Well, except for you. You, you know. Like, you want to talk to the camera, you don't want to talk to the people outside the door. It sounds kind of silly when you talk. Anyway, yarn. So, oh, looky, looky! I finished the cardigan. Still not washed. <laughs> I did sew in the ends and I did sew up the sleeves and all that, but I still haven't washed it. So, whoopsie. But, I'm pleased with Looky, looky. And it is really, really nice. It's so fluffy. And honestly, um, I can see from my hair. It is a um, what's the word I want to use? Um, open, a little too open here in the um, collar area. So, um, I'm thinking that when I do this again in the silk mohair, I'm going to go for a small. I mean, this is in a medium, which is really, really nice. It's really nice and cozy, but um, I think with the uh, silk mohair going a size small would probably be better. I'm um, thinking, but yes, I'm very pleased with it. It's a little too warm to wear it right now. But um, I'm gonna wear it because of the video. So, <sighs> so finished properly. Um, another thing I managed to well start and finish this week. Small rag, very very simple. Um, straight stitch. Oh no, no, I'm thinking Icelandic. Um, slætbrúð, slætbrúð. Um, it is straight stitch. Pearl, pearl, yes. Straight pearl, straight pearl. Just one round and then round back you just do a straight stitch. So, um. Nothing complicated, it's just something that I really, really need to do. This is a rag that I tried to do this summer and I couldn't do it. I could not knit this summer. It was just, no, not happening. So I finished it. <laughs> I cast on. I. So, so. Knit a little bit every night after work, and I finish it. Well, apart from the usual, I still haven't woven in the ends, but um, I did this. Oh, so happy! <sighs> so, and also because <clears throat> because of a certain project that I've been talking about, um, and I've had a little bit of anxiety to start them. I actually started another project that I wasn't going to start on, um, because that's what you do. <laughs> so you may have, um, if you've seen my, you know, tidying up my stash video that was almost an hour long, um, you may have seen this. Uh, this is a Sanskarn old yarn that my mother got from her friend and I liberated because it was not going to be used by her. Yeah. Liberate with, with permission. It's called Chili, and it's um, it's one hundred percent polyamide. We saw fifty grams needs with sixty five meters, and um, the knitting needle size recommended is five to six. Um, I'm trying to find my needle gouge. Yes, it is here. So five to six millimeters is a US size eight and. 10. So, you know. Oh no, wait, these are, these are chili. This is funny. It, name is named fun, it, name is funny, so. Ah, oh, okay, this goes into some other projects. So, uh, I am using 5 milliliter, millimeter knitting needles or a US 8. Remember that? Um, I just cast on 50 stitches and just knit on. Um, this is a very funny yarn. 
if you ever knit it with something like made purely polyamide, polyamide is such a weird material to work with. The result is really, really soft, but I don't know, it's so weird. It's just knitting with it feels like you're knitting with a fishing line, somewhat, somewhat. But the end project feels more like I don't know, something completely different. Um, it is a very, very strange yarn. It's um, it's very soft, and it has like this ta what what's what you call it? Like tassels and pom poms thingies and just it weird. But yeah. So I'm just gonna make a very very simple scarf. I don't know if two is gonna be enough or. I have to like use them um, all together to make a scarf. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this is my extra extra project. This is so. I mean, this is so nice and easy and light to pick up when, um, like, at the end of the day when I just want to knit and I just want to sit back and watch a video and you know just knit. So. Because the, uh, the, 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 um, 12 millimeter and 15 millimeter project I set myself, I did actually start, um, this morning with, uh, you know, the, um, you hold three strands of chunky yarn together to make, uh, to knit with, which is, a bit much and you I mean this 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 big to work with but I did manage to start on the color so so yeah um as I said I cast it on this morning um and it only took less than 10 tries to cast it on correctly because either the um I uh, had too short a th thread or it was too long and I just I was not able to find the middle ground until uh, I think like the seventh or eighth time thread <laughs> but I mean the good part with this yarn is that um, it's really easy to unravel with well that's a good and bad thing because I'm using these double um, double pointy needles and um, I'm terrified about the stitches falling off the end because they are just gonna disappear they will just go whoop, gone it's that soft and I mean the pattern is from Garden Studio which um, luckily I these are their needles these are their knitting needles from the, uh, the drops and um, needles I mean they're light and easy to use they are so smooth and um, another thing last week when I told you to pray for my hands probably works because my hands are not hurting not nearly half as much as I was terrified of but again um because the yarn I'm using jumping from one thing to another is from ice yarns it's their merino chunky and the yarn that the pan itself uses is Drops Melody. Um, merino Chunky, it is 50% merino wool and 50% acrylic. The Drops Melody is like 70% alpaca and I think 20% wool and 10% acrylic. I can't quite remember, but I do remember that the main ingredient, the main fiber, ingredient also works, but the main fiber is alpaca, so obviously that's gonna feel different and look different, but I don't know. As I said before, I had a card going on ice yarns, I already had an order that I was gonna get from them, and I figured, well, you know, try something from them in Chunky, and um. Uh, I have to say this yarn is extremely delightful to work with. It is really soft. 
it is it's a delight and uh, I've only done about four centimeters of um, the um, color it's gonna be seven centimeters and I don't know I'm, my hands are not hurting which is always a good sign um, so yeah I'm gonna make another sweater. I'm gonna make a pullover. I'm working on the pullover. But yeah, as I said before, we are having a very, very in my part in Iceland, not a minute, my part. I think in pretty much all 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 all, all other parts of Iceland, it's been oh, it's been rainy, it's been windy, it's been not sunny not warm i mean yeah we have a bit of fog coming in now and again and she's the old dear is um, teasing us but um we have sun it is warm it has been warm from for the past days and it's actually been a little too warm like i'm really happy that the fog is coming in because that means uh, it's gonna cool a little bit i am not a big fan of warmth i am not i am not made to be in warm weather I am I am an arctic human being. <laughs> I cannot handle the warmth. Just no, thank you. <laughs> Please just give me give me just give me arctic. Just give me you know cool wind. I mean a nice summer day. Um in my opinion it's well it's pretty much like this, just lower temperatures. I like lower them. <laughs> this is an unpopular opinion. Like most Icelanders, I mean, they just they want all the warmth and all the sun and all the. I'm like, no. Have you seen this skin? It's paper thin. It's dear lord. It's. I mean, it's not quite bleeds paper white, but this skin will not handle the sun. Thank you. Love the sun. But your kisses make me burn. So um, I'm just gonna stay inside and uh, finish this video because my lovely lovely cardigan is a little bit too warm for me. So yeah, my plan today is um, try and at least fill, finish the color bit on the on the pullover. I just remember I was gonna shut my phone off before I started um, recording. Of course I forgot to do that, but anyway, we can't ignore that because the video is almost over. I'm gonna try and at least finish the call a bit. Um, just, you know, do that. I'm probably gonna continue with the um, scarf. It's such a funny yarn. It is such a funny yarn. I have no idea, like, mm. About, I mean, this yarn, it's, the label is, feels old. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been made in the past, like, five years at least. Ah, uh, old. But, I don't know. It's probably, I have no idea. I should, maybe I should Google and check if um, this has been discontinued. But, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just... This yarn is really funny, but the colors are absolutely wonderful, like, really pretty colors, but yeah, so, recap yet again, I am going to continue with the, uh, with the ice yarns pullover, i trying to remember the name, it's Straps Garden Studio, it's Glasso, um, I'm going to continue with the uh, funny funny scarf that I decided was gonna is gonna be my new side project and yeah so yeah that's what I've been doing this past week I have no idea what I'm gonna do listen next week at work is going to be very very interesting and potentially pretty difficult um, because we're gonna be short on two people um, so that's going to be pretty interesting. I don't know how much energy I'm going to be having next week um, to knit. 
I may be able to at least continue with this scarf. I am not sure about the pullover. It may be too... After work, they, the needles may be too large for me. So, we'll see. I mean, tomorrow is a different day. I'm, we're gonna worry about that tomorrow. <laughs> Let's worry about tomorrow tomorrow. But yeah, so. This has been me this week. Um, and I will see you next weekend. Hopefully I'll have something, some talk, I'll definitely have something to talk about. We'll see then. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> I cannot handle the heat. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bless bless.